Welcome to Draw Kids, where anybody can learn to draw. Today we are drawing Miles from Into the Spider-Verse. But we're doing something special. We are doing a competition. We have... <laughs> Sid! <laughs> and we have Raina. <laughs> They're brothers and sisters, and they want to battle it out. So if you want to join us, grab a pen and paper, and let's draw. All right, so here we are drawing Miles from Spider-Verse. Miles is going to take up the whole page. So let's start up here towards the top. Up here on the top, we're going to draw the top part of his hood. So it's going to be almost like a, like a rainbow. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's a hoodie. So let's do an arc, just like that. Awesome. So inside of that, starting from closer on the ends and coming to the middle, we're going to draw the inside of the hoodie. And it could be a little bit off. I'm going to do a mine a little bit off to the right. Up and over through the middle. So you're cheating. You gotta go ahead. I'm not going ahead. I, oh, wait, you didn't try. <laughs> it's a follow along. <laughs> My goodness. Somebody's Mrs. Mrs. Antsy Antsy Fast Pants. Okay, so we have the hood. We have the outside of the hood and the inside of the hood. Next, we're going to draw Spider-Man's face. His face is going to go to about right here. So we'll do like a, a U, kind of pointy, like that. So that's his chin. Perfect. Awesome. Next, we're going to do the first inside line of his hood is going to come to about right here. So it's going to come out and go back in like that. Rain is way ahead of us. <coughs> Perfect. So next we're going to do another line on the outside. It can overlap a little bit and kind of be like, like that. Perfect. So just like this on the other side will be the other hood, but don't close them. Leave it open. Mm. So there. Perfect. Now on the ends of each one of these, kind of do a squiggly. This is like his hoodie. So squiggly line, squiggly line. That is awesome. One there and one there. Oh, I better catch up. Perfect. So let's think right in the middle of his face, we're going to do like a V that's not touching. So like a V, V. So that's the top parts of his eyes. Good. So on each one, we're going to just do a U and connect it. Perfect. That looks rad. Let's see. So moving on from there, let's go to his shoulders. So we'll start about a little bit ways down here. We're going to kind of go down at an angle and then we're going to come all the way out to about, to about right here. So do a shoulder, like a little part of a shoulder. And then we're going to do his upper arm more of a straight line downward. Awesome. So from there to here is going to be his forearm. So it's going to be kind of a little bump like that. Perfect. Looks awesome. Same thing on the other side. So let's do a shoulder first. And then the top part of his bicep, kind of a straight. And then moving to his wrist is kind of a, a hump. Awesome. So at the bottom of these, this is his sleeve, so you can do a cuff. So just like a, a curve. Looks good. Perfect. So from there, these are the insides of his hoodie. So let's kind of draw these lines down to about maybe the middle of the page. And they don't have to be perfect. They can just be kind of squiggly like that. One from each side. good. All right, next we're going to do a, a second line, just kind of following that one. Like that. Perfect. 
Perfect. So this one is his inside jacket, and the second one is his outside jacket. I did the outside one first. That's why right. it looks. It, as long as you get it, end up with the same place. Perfect. So next line we're gonna do is gonna be like kind of the the contour of his body. So start from his armpit and kind of come out, kind of almost mimicking these lines. One from each armpit, just kind of coming out like that. Good. One more for you. Perfect. So this is the bottom of his jacket. These two lines go down like that. Perfect. Looks good. So now the next line is going to be coming from the same spot from his armpit, but it's inside of his arm. So we'll do a straight line, kind of like we did here in the bicep, and then kind of close it off to his wrist. So a straight line kind of to his bicep, and then his forearm kind of is like a, a funnier shape. Good. Same thing on the other side. Straight line, and then curve. Perfect. Looks awesome. Next thing we're going to do is his belt line. So let's close that off with a kind of a, a downward curve. Maybe two of them. Looks good. All right, so on each side here, we have a fist. So we're going to start at the wrist, and we're just going to kind of do a, a thumb, kind of like that, almost like a backwards J. Nice. Curve it in a little bit more. Looks good. And then from here, it's going to be kind of this pit of his, of his hand. So go up a little bit higher, and then do like a little first knuckle. Awesome. So on this back side, it's almost like a square. So it's kind of like his, he's at a fist. So kind of just like a square, but kind of a little bit round like that. Looks good. So same thing on the other side, start from the wrist, do the thumb first. This one is actually like a, a real J. And then starting a little bit higher up, we do the first knuckle. And then make a fist. Perfect. Next thing we're doing, we're going to do the bottom of his front of his shorts. So just kind of do like a little bulge there where his where his man parts would be. And then do like a uh, two lines. So that's the top of his shorts. Good. So following these lines, do parallels. Kind of bring that out like that. And then for the bottom of the pants, just kind of round them out just a little bit. All right, so moving on from there, we're going to do his legs. So we're going to start from the inside leg, and we're going to do a kind of a curved out to there. Awesome. So on the other side, curving it down just like that. Perfect. So same thing on the other side. We do the inside of his calf. And then a line matching that on the other side. Good. So for the top of the shoe, we're going to do like a like a U or up like a rainbow, like an arc. Good. So on the inside, we're going to do a line downwards like that. Nice. Curve it in just a little bit. And then on the other side, we're going to do the other side of his tongue, do the other side of the foot. That looks good. You're okay. Perfect. So then we'll do the front of the foot just like that. Awesome. So same thing on this side, let's do the big tongue, like that, just an arc. Good, now the inside of the foot to there. Curve it in just a little bit. And I'll do the other side of the foot and close it off. Perfect. How you looking, Rena? Good. Awesome. So there's Miles from Spider-Verse. Let's color.
awesome. So that was it, drawing Miles from Into the Spider-Verse. Sid, tell us about your drawing. Well, as you can see, mine is clearly superior than Mary knows. <laughs> she took like five minutes to draw it. This was made with passion, so vote for me. Marina, what do you think about yours? Okay, well, Sid is the one who literally told me like two weeks ago that he was jealous that I was better at, than him at drawing. Actually, it was last week on our other vacation, so I remember that specifically, and I just want to say that I've never told Sid that I'm jealous of his drawings. <laughs> it's a one, totally one-way thing, and also mine so, is better. So, the bottom line, did you guys have fun? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I hope you guys had fun, too. Don't forget to subscribe and join us again on Draw Kids. And don't forget to vote on who you like better. All right, see you next time. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs>